What if you spent every day playing a role? A complex, meticulous script designed to hide who you are? For millions of people, especially women, this isn't acting. It's neurological strategy known as camouflaging autism. Today, we look past the behavior. We expose the staggering biological cost of appearing normal. We decode the science of the mask you never see. I am Tomasz and this is Clinical Breakdown. Here is the core issue. Camouflaging is the reason for late or missed diagnosis. The coping mechanisms are so effective that clinicians often only see secondary symptoms, like chronic anxiety and depression. They miss the underlying neurotype. This isn't just a social choice. This is an energy debt driven by brain's enormous effort to simulate neurotypicality. Let's look at the data that redefine this area. Studies done by Hall and colleagues mapped the explicit strategies. It involves intense self-monitoring, forcing eye contact, and preparing social scripts. This is a full-time conscious cognitive overload. The neurological insight is key. This process activates the prefrontal cortex, the brain's executive control center, at extreme resource-draining levels. It diverts resources from every other function. The brain is constantly running at a massive hidden background application. This is where the mask breaks. The constant cognitive overload creates a massive energy deficit. Research by Lai and, other, and others links high camouflaging to three major crises. First, autistic burnout, a state of chronic physical and emotional exhaustion. Second, increased suicidality. Masking is tragically correlated with higher rates of suicidal ideation. This is driven by the intense feeling of being fundamentally misunderstood. And third, loss of identity. People lose touch with their authentic selves because they are constantly performing the neurotypical role. This is the ultimate cost of that biological debt. Why are women the primary focus? It's a mix of biology and social factors. Women are socialized earlier to prioritize social reciprocity and connection. Biologically, some research suggests differences in the female ASD brain may facilitate more effective mimicry. The combination leads to a lifetime of misdiagnosis, often just anxiety or personality disorder. The result is the same. The effort is unsustainable. What does this mean for you? Your exhaustion is real. It is a measurable neurological cost. Your brain is using too many resources. Diagnosis must change. Clinicians need to screen for a history of camouflaging to find the true underlying neurotype. The future is about validating the internal energetic experience, not just external masked performance. Understanding the mask is the first step toward genuine, genuine neuroacceptance. If you feel seen by this analysis of the biological cause of camouflaging, hit subscribe for more precision psychiatry. I've linked all the foundational studies by Hal and Lai below. But please tell me in comment, what is the one social rule you still struggle to fake?